Hey everyone, Nick for Nick Drinks. We are here at the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin. We are about to go get a tour. Let's go check it out. Nick Drinks. My name is Donal Marnell. I am part of the Guinness Beer Specialist team, and we are at the home of Guinness, Guinness Storehouse in Dublin City. So uh, when you walk in, after you're done with our admissions hall, you go up an escalator which takes you into our main atrium. And uh, you'll see the steel framework of the building, uh, which has been here since 1906. But what you'll also see wrapping around that is the largest Guinness glass shaped structure in the world. Beer is a very simple drink. There are four basic ingredients, barley, hops, yeast and water. Uh, what the nitrogen does is it sits on top of the beer and it makes sure that the beer doesn't go flat. So it keeps that flavor in the whole time and it keeps the texture too. We say that Guinness has a very unique uh, pouring process. We say there's six steps to crafting the perfect pint of Guinness and then it takes about 119.5 seconds to craft the perfect pint of Guinness properly. Take your glass at a, what we call a 45 degree angle. So the best way to achieve this is to make sure that the beer is pouring directly onto the golden heart without the spout touching the glass itself. Pull the top all the way down, which releases the beer, but it also releases maximum nitrogen pressure, uh, which is gonna allow your beer to settle, that's what we want. You're gonna stop the pour once the glass is even and you've reached the top of the golden harp, and then you need to exercise a little bit of patience. You need to wait for about 90 seconds for all that nitrogen to come up to the top and make the foam for you at the very top of your beer. After the beer has appeared to turn dark, after the nitrogen has left the body of the beer, you then take the glass back, you push the tap away, which will add more beer, but it won't increase the size of the foam. When you crack the can, the widget releases sufficient nitrogen gas so that when you pour the beer, the gas will act in the same way as it would from a draft tap, and it should settle up to the top and make the foam for you. 